Georgetown law professor John McHale suggested on Sunday that the portion of President Donald Trump's defense which is being covered by Alan Dershowitz is destined to fail because it has no sound basis in history and law. There is no sound basis for Alan Dershowitz to claim that abuse of power is not an impeachable offense. In addition to being at odds with common sense, this claim is contradicted by a clear and consistent body of historical evidence, Mikhail stated. Advertisement The law professor cited the impeachment of Warren Hastings in the 1780s. Some of the best evidence comes from the case of Warren Hastings, which informed the drafting art. 2. Sec. 4. Mikhail wrote. The fact that he was not guilty of treason, but still deserved to be impeached, was a major reason other high crimes and misdemeanors was added to the Constitution, there are many other sources. For example, abuse of power was one of the articles of impeachment adopted by the House Judiciary Committee against Richard Nixon in 1974 and against Bill Clinton in 1998, all of these sources and others like them e.g., Hamilton's remark on the abuse or violation of some public trust in Federalist 65 suggest that Dershowitz and Trump will have a hard time making a persuasive case that abuse of power is not an impeachable offense. Mikhail concluded. Read all of the tweets below. Advertisement sure, happy to win. There is no sound basis for Alan Dershowitz to claim that abuse of power is not an impeachable offense. In addition to being at odds with common sense, this claim is contradicted by a clear and consistent body of historical evidence. 1 https colon slash slash t dot co slash mbag 1 bxj 2 s John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Some of the best evidence comes from the case of Warren Hastings, which informed the drafting art. 2. Sec. 4. The fact that he was not guilty of treason, but still deserved to be impeached, was a major reason other high crimes and misdemeanors was added to the Constitution. 2. John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement Edmund Burke drew up impeachment charges against Hastings in 1786, and his trial began in the House of Lords in February 1788. Bork celebrated speeches and reports against Hastings, widely reprinted in U.S. newspapers at the time, often accused him of abuse of power. 3. John Mikhail at underscore John. Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement DG, in a trial speech on February 15, 1788, Burke said, It is by this tribunal, that statesmen, who abuse their power, are accused by statesmen and tried by statesmen, not upon the niceties of a narrow jurisprudence but upon the enlarged and solid principles of state morality. For John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement, it is here that those who by the abuse of power have violated the spirit of law can never hope for protection for many of its forms, it is here that those who have refused to conform themselves to its perfections can never hope to escape through any of its defects. 5. John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 The next day, Feb. 16, 1788, Burke charged that Hastings took advantage of the imperfections of the institution, i.e., the East India Company, to let in his abuse of the powers, with which he was entrusted. 6. John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement Finally, in an April 1794 report, Burke wrote that the House of Commons had chosen to impeach Hastings because the inferior courts were habituated to try men for the abuse only of their individual and natural powers, which can extend but a little way. Burke then added, 7. John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020, but in the cause which your managers have in charge, the circumstances are the very reverse, the abuses, stated in our impeachment, are not those of mere individual, natural faculties, but the abuses of civil and political authority. 8. John Mikhail at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement There are many other sources. 
For example, abuse of power was one of the articles of impeachment adopted by the House Judiciary Committee against Richard Nixon in 1974 and against Bill Clinton in 1998. 9. John Mikhail, at underscore John. Mikhail, January 19, 2020 in the impeachment of President Andrew Johnson, House Manager Benjamin F. Butler of Massachusetts defined high crime or misdemeanor to include the abuse of discretionary power from improper motives or for any improper purpose. 10. John Mikhail at underscore John. Mikhail, January 19, 2020 at the 1787 Constitutional Convention, Edmund Randolph explained that the propriety of impeachment was a favorite principle with him because the executive will have great opportunity, i.e., s of abusing his power. 11. John Mikhail at underscore John. Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement Finally, there is the text of the Constitution itself, which imposes solemn obligations of faithful execution, on the President in exercising all of his executive powers. Abusing delegated powers is the antithesis of faithfully executing them. 12. John Mikhail, at underscore John. Mikhail, January 19, 2020 All of these sources and others like them e.g., Hamilton's remark on the abuse or violation of some public trust in Federalist 65 suggest that Dershowitz and Trump will have a hard time making a persuasive case that abuse of power is not an impeachable offense. 13. John Mikhail, at underscore John Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement for at least some GOP senators, Republican voters, or others who profess to be originalists. However, Burke's impeachment of Hastings may be the most relevant and instructive precedent confirming what should be obvious grave abuses of power can be impeachable. 14. John Mikhail, at underscore John. Mikhail, January 19, 2020 Advertisement Enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Look you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Let's block ads. Why? 